Good afternoon all. First of all, warm welcome to everyone for this uh, webinar session for uh, Transformer of Rainier Networks. So the agenda for today's discussion is uh, we're going to talk about uh, introduction to deep learning and uh, what are the, uh, how do we implement the NLP concepts using RNN network that is called uh, recurrent neural networks and uh, scaling up uh, NLP talks, like how do we increase our uh, corpus and uh, transformer walkthrough, like what are the different transformers are available in uh, deep learnings and top language models, what are the different models are available. Finally, if time permits, we'll see the answer for some of the deep learning models. Okay, now let's move forward. So now we are going to talk about introduction to deep learning first, and then we'll move forward the RNN, one of the models in the deep learning techniques, okay? First of all, let's try to understand what are the different uh, terminology, right? So first of all, we are calling as artificial intelligence. So what is AI? So nowadays we will be talking AI, chat GPT, and then uh, um, like open AI, a lot, lot of things, right? So a lot of uh, recent uh, trending technologies, right? First of all, let's try to understand what is AI. So AI is an intelligence like machine or the computer is going to mimic our human behaviors. So whatever the humans and animals are doing, the same kind of operations or same or similar kind of uh, task done by machines or agents, okay? That we are calling as artificial intelligence. Suppose let's take a self-driving car or, or let's take an, uh, uh, I would say for uh, <coughs> the this one, the, uh, what is that? every bank we, once we log in, live chat, right? The chatbot. So those things we are calling as artificial intelligence. Okay, instead of computer, sorry, instead of human or the person going to respond the solutions, the computer is good, going to give the solution for it. Okay, so that kind of concept we're calling as artificial intelligence. Next is we'll talk about what is machine learning. So machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence. So it is going to apply a lot of computer algorithms, like a computer, the predefined algorithms to do the task in an automation manner. Okay, to do the task or to do the operations in an automatically based on the experience, based on the past experience. Okay, so to get the experience, we need to train our models, train our algorithms with the different historical data. Okay, that kind of concept we're calling as machine learning program. So next is what is deep learning? Again, deep learning is a part of, again, a broader family of machine learnings. I would say it's a subset of machine learnings. Mainly it is going to apply the neural network concepts. So what is neural networks? Like mainly for the, I would say for some deep learning or some in-depth of machine learning concepts. Okay, so again, the deep learning we can use it for both supervised learnings or unsupervised learning also. Okay, next is we'll understand what is deep learning. So as I told you, deep learning, like, so we have a multiple layers in deep learning, right? So we have input layers, we have multiple hidden layers and the corresponding output layers. So what it means, what is hidden layer here? So hidden layer will process or will uh, do a lot of uh, internal computations in the memory to get the corresponding output. So we might have one hidden layer, we might have multiple hidden layers, or we need to we need to do this lot of uh, internal computations to get the corresponding output, to get the corresponding predicted output. Okay, so this we are calling as single layer neural networks. Means we have only one layers, right? Only one hidden layer to process or to compute the operations. Okay, so deep learning, we might have multiple layers also. So we might have more than one hidden layers also. Okay, so it means, so see this, right? So as an inputs, we're feeding a lot of images, like we have a dog, cat, lion, tiger, lot of images we are feeding in. Okay, it is model is telling that, okay, whatever the image we are feeding, that will take a dog. So for that, we need to train our model initially. So first of all, you have to train our models with the past lot of historical data to get the corresponding output, okay? To get the, the relevant output, okay? 
so mainly the deep learning we are using for image classifications for the unstructured data okay suppose i want to i'm working as a data scientist in one of the medical institute okay i want to process or i want to process the mri scan report or the some of the chest x ray report so in the covid situation right we need to do the lot of uh, image data processings in the medical sectors so for that we are going to apply the deep learning concepts so deep learning predominantly we are using for image classifications so it will process the lot of image and then response so what is what kind of image it is like maybe it's a person or the place or the person is wearing the mask or the place is a crowded place so all those things if you want to analyze or maybe in the covid situation right we should not uh, go more than five or six people okay how the government or how the uh, the the government will monitor it right so for that they can capture they can place all the uh, cameras in the multiple places they can capture the persons so if you have more than multiple people are there in the locations you have to capture those things right so for that image capturing image processing and the image recognitions all those things will be done in the deep learning techniques okay that is the main use of deep learning concepts so the shorter answer is deep learning mainly we are using for unstructured data the machine learning we are using for structured data the simple answer okay the simple short answer the machine learning predominantly we are using for if you have structured data like your tabular format csv file and then some of the relational format data if you want to process it we can go with machine learnings or if you have some image file audio file some log file analysis right so those kind of things we can go with deep learning concepts okay okay next is let's talk about the structural learning in edureka like what is the course and what is the road map about the program and what are the different uh, modules are available and uh, what is the the lay of uh, the way of teaching in edureka we'll just quickly go through it okay so let's talk about the road map about deep learning certification training course so this course consists of totally around 9 to 10 different modules so each and every modules we have corresponding hands on so we have a corresponding case studies assignments quizzes we are providing for each and every modules so let's talk about module 1 so in module 1 we are going to discuss about introduction to deep learning like uh, what is deep learning how the deep learning will differ from the other other learning models and what are the different types of uh, deep learning models are available what is neural networks what is propagations back propagations what are different layers are available in deep learnings all those concepts we are discussing in the we are going to discuss in the module 1 followed by we have hands on in module 2 we are going to talk about the tensor flow package so tensor flow mainly we are using for sorry tensor flow developed in the google corporations so to do lot of deep learnings and then machine learning level operations right so tensor flow mainly is using for the numerical computations so mainly for array operations and then array computations array processing all those thing we can done by using tensor flow package okay module 3 onwards we are going to talk about the what is the architecture so sorry what are the algorithms that is called cnn algorithm convolutional neural network algorithms and how the cnn algorithm will work okay so what are the different layers are there and what are the different stages are there what is template matching algorithms oh, and what is uh, max pooling average pooling and then padding all those concepts what are the different layers in cnn all the concepts we are discussing in the module 3 so module 4 we're going to talk about uh, horonen regional cnn regional uh, cnn and then boltzmann machine auto encoder techniques and uh, generative adventurous networks so these are called different types of algorithm available in deep learning okay so we're going to talk about uh, each and every use cases each and every algorithm in detail in under deep learning techniques but in seven we are going to talk about emotional like for uh, uh, twitter data analysis like how do we find the emotional and how do we get the do the gender directions so what kind of gender it is based on the image processing in module 8 we can talk about uh, horonen recurrent neural networks and how do we process the operation in gpu instead of cpu graphical uh, recording and also module 9 10 mainly for uh, lstm long short term memory allocations law lstm concepts and then module 
uh, image capturing suppose uh, we have a toll gate right so in the, every toll gate we have this uh, uh, we have this uh, camera right so camera is capturing the image the person is paying the toll or not not paying they are capturing the name plate the number plate of the car or vehicle and sending a report out of it so what is happening exactly it is happening the by using auto image capturing techniques okay so these are the complete road map about the deep learning course it, it contains almost uh, 10 different modules total will take almost 30 to 32 hours okay so once we complete the course you will get a course completion certifications okay first of all let's try to understand what is before transformer right so let's try to understand the nlp concepts like how the nlp is using in recurrent neural networks rnn concepts okay so rnn that is called recurrent neural networks it is one kind of machine learning algorithms or one kind of deep learning algorithms so mainly it is going to do this sequential data processing so sequential level if you want to process like a text time series data or financial data or some of the audio file video file some speech recognitions all those things we can uh, process it in the sequential manner by using rnn algorithms so rnn mainly is a fully connected neural networks okay suppose if you want to perform some of the operation for sequential labeling and nlp that is called natural language processing so i want to classify the text or i want to generate a new text okay so based on some of the past uh, historical uh, training models i'm going to generate the multiple inputs multiple text generations okay so for that we can uh, do it by using rnn algorithms so i would say for rnn is mainly for uh, nlp uh, natural language processing okay next is we'll talk about what are the different uh, transformer encoding so we have a encoder so encoder what will do it is going to translate the language from one to another right so basically a simple example i will give you some layman terminologies so you are working you are uh, traveling into some different country maybe you are going to japanese uh, japan okay so in japan most of the places they are writing in japanese language right japanese in the railway stations metro stations and uh, most not airport i would say most of the places but you don't know we don't know japanese right but how do we communicate so basically we need to encode those japanese language into our easy understandable language that is called english so every every person can easily understand right not easily i would say it's a common language right so we are encoding value from one to others after that we are just decoding it whatever knowledge or whatever human can easily understand it okay that's we are that kind of concept we are calling as transformer we are transforming from one into another's okay or one one format of data into another format of data okay see see this one this is the english one knowledge is power in okay this same thing in japanese some uh, chinese language right how it's look like so this is the transformer basically transformer will apply for two things one is for encodings and another is for decoding same way if you want to do the reverse of it suppose you are a japanese we don't know english right so you want to convert from english to japanese so we have to do the again for the decoding techniques that kind of concept uh, we are calling as transformer in deep learning there are two uh, broader way one is for encoder other one is for decoder okay next quickly see what are the different uh, top languages available so in deep learning we have open ai uh, gpt uh, beat t5 gpt chat gpt mx extend mlx extend transformer we talk about just now right transformer and then uh, back propagations uh, long lstm models so these are the different types of languages we are going to, we are available it's available under deep learning techniques so i would say the center part the chat gpt right so this is uh, famous nowadays so that uh, we can do or we can do a lot of uh, automation so i would say a lot of responses in the chat gpt itself this is pretty much about our webinar sessions thank you all